Hey guys, welcome to the 88th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the combo box control. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and a combo box. So, just go over to your toolbox and drag a combo box over to your main form. And I'm sure you've never really heard of a combo box before, but basically, um, what it does is it allows you to select an item from a huge list of items and once we debug you'll see what I mean. I'm sure you've seen this before. In order to add items to a combo box just select your uh, combo box and click this little uh, black triangle right here and then go down to edit items. Now inside of here we can choose items that we want to be in our combo box. Each item is separated by a different line so if we were to type out Adam on this line and then like Bob on this line, then there would be two different items, one for Adam and one for Bob. But we cannot just separate them by like a comma or anything. We have to put them on a different line. And I'll just add one more here. I'll call it Joe. Now click OK. So now we should have three items inside of our combo box. Adam, Bob, and Joe. So now we need to debug and uh, click this little down arrow on our combo box. We should see those items. Yep, Adam, Bob, and Joe. We can select those items, and we can also type any text that we want in this combo box. So we can type out all that. However, if you want to make it so that users cannot type out anything in the combo box, just go down to uh, the properties and change the drop down style to drop down list. And as you can see now, it becomes read only, and you cannot write in that text box or that combo box. Yep, we can still select items though. And the last drop down style is simple, and this basically just displays all of the items in your combo box right there. And you can, you can still select them just like normal, but we can type in this box up here. Now I'm just going to change it back to uh, drop down list. I don't really like that style. Alright. In order to check to see what items, uh, the, or what item the user has selected in the combo box, you can use the text property. So it's going to double click on this button right here. And right here, we're going to check to see if the user selected the atom item. So we're just going to do if combo box one dot text, because we're going to be using that text property. We're going to see if that property is equal to atom. So if um, whatever the user selected in the combo box is equal to atom, then we're just going to have a message box be displayed saying, I guess, test. So now we debug here. Since nothing is selected in the combo box, we shouldn't get a message box. If we select Adam, we should get test. Yep. But if we select something different, we shouldn't. Yep, we don't get a message box. You can also um, uh, edit the items inside of the combo box using code. So you can use the items property inside of the combo box class. And this will just return um, a collection of combo box items. And basically, it's just an array. So we can do like we can put the index of the item that we want to uh, edit right here. So if we wanted to edit the first item, we just put zero in there, and then we can change the uh, text of that to something else. Like if we wanted to make it say instead of Adam, we wanted to make it say mm, Steve, then we could do that. So now we will change the uh, Adam property since it's the first one. We'll change that to Steve. So now we debug here and click down on our combo box. We see we have the three items, Adam, Bob, and Joe. But now we will change this item right here to Steve when we click this button. Yep, now we have Steve, Bob, and Joe instead. You can also add items to the combo box. So if you wanted to do items, then you can use the add method to get um, or to add an item to the combo box. So if we wanted to add another item, called Steve, I guess, as well, we can do that. So now we just have those three items, but now we need to debug or click this button. We should get, or have four. Yep, we now have Steve as well. And the last thing I'm going to show you is the count property, and this will basically return the number of items in the combo box. And I'll just have a message box to display that. Since this returns an integer, we're just going to have to use the toString method to convert it into a string. 
So now we should get three because there are three items in our combo box right here. Yep, three. And if you want to, and there's an event also in the combo box class, and that will basically tell you when someone um, changed the, an item in the combo box. So selected index changed. So whenever someone selects a different item, you can do some code right here. And I'm just going to have a message box be displayed saying test. So now whenever we select a different item, we should get a message box saying test. Yep, select a different item. Yep. All right, so that's pretty much it for the tutorial on the combo box um, control. So see you guys.